First, take out of all items from the package. The package includes monitor, RV camera, license plate camera, DC power cord, U bracket, sunshade, windshield mount, cigarette lighter adapter, antenna, T taps and screws. Follow my operation. Install the antenna on the monitor. Please note, both antennas must be installed on the monitor at the same time. After adjusting the angle, tighten the screws. Take out the 3M sticker. Tear off the 3M sticker. Paste it on the bottom of the monitor bracket. You can tear off the 3M sticker. Paste the monitor where you want. Now demonstrate how to install the windshield mount. Remove the U-shaped bracket. Follow my operation. Loosen the screws. Align the bracket with the screw holes on the back of the monitor and slide it in. Tighten the screws. The bracket can be flexibly adjusted. You can also mount the monitor to the windshield. After adjusting the angle, tighten the screws. Remove the windshield mount. Now demonstrate how to install the U-shaped bracket. Align the bracket hole with the screw hole on the side of the monitor. Fix the bracket and monitor with screws. Repeat the above operation. After adjusting the angle, tighten the screws. Pick up the camera. Install the antenna on the camera. Install the fourth antenna on the license plate camera. Take up the power cord. Connect the power cord to the monitor. Pick up the second power cord. Connect power cord to the RV camera. Pick up the third power cord. Connect power cord to the license plate camera. The red wire of power cord is positive, white wire is negative, but for your vehicle lights as wire may not be like this. Perhaps black wire is the positive and green is the negative. Please use tools to test and confirm this. Take up the green connector. Use a tool to loosen the screw. Insert the merged red wire into the positive, plus slot of the green connector. Tighten the screws. Insert the merged white wire into the minus, slot of the green connector. Tighten the screws. Plug the cigarette lighter adapter to the green connector. Plug the cigarette lighter adapter to the power outlet. Press the red button. The red button lights up. The monitor lights up and the image appears on the screen. Pick up the RV camera. Cover the camera with your hand and hold the automatic light sensor with your finger. You can see IR light. Pick up the license plate camera. Cover the camera with your hand and hold the automatic light sensor with your finger. You can see IR light. The testing finished. Now disconnected all the wires. The easiest way is connect the monitor to cigarette lighter outlet. Plug the cigarette lighter adapter to the power outlet. Press the red button. The monitor lights up and the screen shows no signal. Pick up the license plate. 
Align the bracket hole with the license plate screw hole. Use screws to fix the license plate and camera. The red wire is connected to the positive wire of the tail light or 12 VDC power system. The white wire is connected to the negative of the tail light or 12 VDC power system. The image appear on the screen. The first key is used to turn on, off the screen. The second and third keys have no effect in this case. Touch the CH key to switch the camera one channel. Touch the CH key again to switch the camera two channel. Touch the CH key again to switch the camera 3 channel. Touch the CH key again to switch the camera 4 channel. Touch the CH key again to switch the split mode. In the split screen state, touch the menu key cannot enter the menu mode. Touch the CH key again to switch the camera 1 channel. Touch the menu key to enter the menu mode. If the product you received has an image, please do not pair it. Touch the OK key to enter the pairing countdown. Turn off the camera's power and quickly turn on. The image appears on the monitor, means pairing is successful. Touch the menu key to enter the menu mode. Touch the up or down keys to switch to the picture. Touch the OK key to confirm. Touch the OK key, the icon turns red. Touch the up or down keys to adjust the brightness. Touch the OK key to confirm. The icon turns yellow. Touch the up or down keys to switch to the contrast. Touch the OK key to confirm. Touch the up or down keys to adjust the contrast. Touch the OK key to confirm. Touch the up or down keys to switch to the hue. Touch the OK key to confirm. Touch the up or down keys to adjust the hue. Touch the OK key to confirm. Touch the menu key to return to the previous interface. Touch the up or down keys to switch to the mirror flip. Touch the OK key to confirm. Touch the up or down keys to select the mode you need. Touch the menu key to return to the previous interface. Touch the up or down keys to switch to the mode. Touch the OK key to confirm. You can choose the split mode you want. Touch the menu key to return to the previous interface. Touch the up or down keys to switch to the cam setup. Touch the OK key to confirm. Touch the OK key, the icon turns red. Touch the up or down keys to turn off the camera one. Touch the OK key to confirm. Touches the menu key to quit the menu mode. Touches the CH key to switch the camera channel. The image of camera channel 1 not appears now. Touch the menu key to enter the menu mode. Touch the up or down keys to switch to the cam setup. Touch the OK key to confirm. Touch the OK key, the icon turns red. Touch the up or down keys to turn on the camera 1. Touch the OK key to confirm. Touches the menu key to quit the menu mode. Touches the CH key to switch the camera channel. The image of camera channel 1 appears now. Touch the menu key to enter the menu mode. Touch the up or down keys to switch to the cam setup. Touch the OK key to confirm. You can turn on, off the single channel screen. Touch the up or down keys to switch to the scan time. Touch the OK key to confirm. Touch the up or down keys to adjust the scan time. Touch the OK key to confirm. Touch the up or down keys to switch to the auto scan. Touch the OK key to confirm. Touch the up or down keys to turn on the auto scan. Touch the OK key to confirm. Touches the menu key to quit the menu mode. When the scan appear on the screen, the monitor automatically switches channels. In this case, you cannot enter the menu mode by touching the menu key. Touch the CH key to turn off the auto scan. The scan not appear on the screen. Follow my operation. 
Touch the menu key to enter the menu mode. Touch the up or down keys to switch to the system. Touch the OK key to confirm. Touch the OK key. The icon turns red. Touch the up or down keys to adjust the system date. Touch the OK key to confirm. Adjust year, month, day, hour, minute, second in turn. Touch the up or down keys to switch to the language. Touch the OK key to confirm. Touch the up or down keys to select the language you want. Touch the OK key to confirm. Touch the up or down keys to switch to the FPS. Touch the OK key to confirm. Touch the up or down keys to select the NTSC or PAL. Touch the OK key to confirm. Touch the up or down keys to switch to the auto dim. Touch the OK key to confirm. Touch the up or down keys to turn on, off the auto dim. Touch the OK key to confirm. Touch the up or down keys to switch to the delay time. Touch the OK key to confirm. Touch the up or down keys to adjust the delay time. Touch the OK key to confirm. Touch the up or down keys to switch to the P line. Touch the OK key to confirm. Touch the up or down keys to turn on the guidelines. Touch the OK key to confirm. Touches the menu key to quit the menu mode. The guideline appear on the screen. When the guideline appear on the screen, touch the up key. The M appear on the screen. Touch the down key to moving the guideline left and right. Touch the up key. The W appear on the screen. Touch the down key to adjust the width of the guideline. Touch the up key. The H appear on the screen. Touch the down key to adjust the height of the guideline. Touch the up key. The letters disappear on the display. Touch the menu key to enter the menu mode. Touch the up or down keys to switch to the system. Touch the OK key to confirm. Touch the up or down keys to switch to the P line. Touch the OK key to confirm. Touch the up or down keys to turn off the guidelines. Touch the OK key to confirm. Touches the menu key to quit the menu mode. The guideline not appear on the screen. Touch the menu key to enter the menu mode. Touch the up or down keys to switch to the play. Touch the OK key to confirm. When you insert the SD card, you can view the SD card information here. Touch the menu key to return to the previous interface. Touch the up or down keys to switch to the record. Touch the OK key to confirm. Touch the OK key. The icon turns red. Touch the up or down keys to turn on, off the rewrite. Touch the OK key to confirm. Touch the up or down keys to switch to the format. Touch the OK key to confirm. Touch the up or down keys to turn on the format the SD card. Touch the OK key to confirm. Formatting is complete. Touch the menu key. Touches the menu key to quit the menu mode. When the SD card is inserted, touch the OK key to turn on or turn off the video recording function. Touch the V key to quickly view the video playback list. When you insert the SD card, you can view the SD card information here. Touches the menu key to quit the menu mode. The process of connecting the camera to the lamp line. T-Taps T-Taps has two holes and one hole is closed. The long line is the line of the lamp or the circuit line on the car. Thrust the car light line into the first hole. camera power cord. Plug the power cord into the second hole. Iron sheets.
Clamp the iron sheet to the tap's bottom.